everybody, it's Lisa from Shadowed Studio. Welcome back to my channel. We are going to do an upcycling video today. And as you can see in front of me, I have some blue jeans. And that is why I did the poll because I kind of wanted to get an idea of where you guys were at with what you wanted to see. And I mean, you know, I'll do all different things, but I kind of like to do, you know, things that you ask for if I'm able. So here is a pair of blue jeans that I took some bleach to yesterday. I wanted to do the bleach ahead of time just to get that out of the way. Um, this, this pair of jeans was not going to bleach just the normal way that I usually do it. So I had to just start actually pouring this thick bleach right on the fabric and kind of just like wiping it. And it, I got a little bit carried away here because it dripped. <laughs> I like it though. No, I really like the way the pants turned out. Um, they are bleachy, grungy. Really some cool stuff going on back here. Back here. So um, we're going to attempt, I'm going to attempt, and yes, I have some elastic waist jeans. They're from Croft and Borrow. I think that's how you say that. Pretty good uh, name brand for women. Extra long, which doesn't matter because it's going to be cutting off part of the bottom. But this is the um, this is the pair I wanted to use for this particular style that I'm going to do. Um, we're going to make bloomers. So down here, somewhere, wherever I decide, I'm going to be cutting it off and adding, maybe up farther, um, adding a, a ruffle. You know, those, it's not really roughly, but kind of ruffled. And um, I'm going to be opening up the side seams all the way up so that I can do patchwork all the way. The only unfortunate thing about this, which is, is and isn't, is it has these pockets. I really wanted to do a bunch of patchwork up here all the way down. If I do, I'm just I'm making the pockets useless because... Yeah, so I kind of have to decide, I guess, if I want to try to keep these pockets usable or not worry about it and just do patchwork. Otherwise, you know, the patches would have to be up here and not impeding the pockets. But anyways, yeah, we're going to be cutting up the sides and yeah cutting off the, up the side so I can get in and work, but I want to decide where I want these legs to be cut off too. So, um, so, uh, these guys are, these are really long, they're 42 inches. And I think I want the the ruffle to be about maybe I don't know five inches, two, three, four, five, no, something longer than that. Maybe down to thirty six, so maybe maybe six inch ruffle. So cutting them off at thirty, maybe that seems about right. So we'll mark that one and we will come over here. And mark it at 30 here. So this is, uh, I guess I gotta start doing disclaimers. Um, I'm an upcycler. I just this is art for me. This isn't um, perfection. This isn't keeping seams straight when I make a cut. This isn't about um, perfection. It's not about following patterns and cutting out little darts and trying to match it. This is upcycling. It's uh, what I enjoy doing. I like to do crazy things and see if they work. Uh, put fabrics together that might not go together. Sometimes it turns out, and like you've seen, sometimes it doesn't. But I'm not afraid to try these challenges because that's just really what makes me tick. I don't, I'm not traditional anything, really. I'm not a traditional seamstress. I, so this is not sewing tutorials. This is for inspiration. If you see something you like, try it at your house. 
If you see something you don't like, don't try it. Um, when my projects turn out how I want them to, I stick them in my Etsy shop and sometimes they sell. So this is what this channel is about. Anyways, let's try to get this. save that part because we'll probably use some of it. Probably will. Just lining my ruler up with a line on this um, cutting mat and then Okay, so we have two even pieces. Yay me! <laughs> that doesn't always happen. Okay, so this is the beginning of our bloomers. So cute. Oh my goodness, so cute. Okay, so we're going to cut up the side seam because these will be sewn back together. So I want to just see how that's going to work with that pocket piece in there. I'll be cut on the back side of that. Yeah. I'm just leaving a little bit of space, maybe a quarter of an inch, I think, to sew these back together when I'm done. Okay. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. I will do this off camera and I'll be back. Okay, so I took these and uh, found scraps that I felt went with went together, and then I did both front legs, and then I'll show you the back. So these are just pinned in place. I don't have any of this sewn on yet. I'm going to go and stitch around these. Um, probably, I don't know yet if it'll be zigzag, probably zigzag. There may be some back and forth stitching over the top. I don't know yet, but, um, I'll come back when I'm done and then we'll, I'll show you what I'm going to use for the bottom ruffle. Okay. Wow. That was, that was a lot. That was a lot of work. Sewing around each one, trying not to get poked with all the pins. <laughs> And sewing around each one over here. Then going to the back. Sewing all these on. Going around this. Anyway, you get the point. A lot of work. But it's I like the way it always turns out. And I went ahead and sewed up the side seams. So when this is washed and dried. I always forget my thread. When this is washed and dried, this will start to fray. And it will look really cute. I, I think so anyway. So um, now we have to get a measurement down here, about 17 inches. So we have to use, we have to have more than that. So what I found that I think will look really cute. This is like a. Uh, I don't know what this is. Is it like a teeny tablecloth or something of that nature? It's not a pillowcase because it's just one, one piece. So, but anyway, what I want to do is I want to take... Try to make it even. I want to have 
what did I say? About a six inch ruffle. So seven, that's pretty, that's pretty close. So I think this um, two bottom pieces here will go nicely on top of uh, this. So we're gonna go up about seven inches. And I'm going to measure all of this all across here, and then I'll cut them, and I'll be back. Okay, guys, I am done sewing the ruffle. I want to get that up there so you can for sure see it. I just sewed, sewed these ruffles onto the bottom, and I left them uh, kind of open like a, like a slit on each um, outer hem or seam. I think they look so cute, you guys. It is gonna be so cute. I wish I had a mannequin with legs. Um, I used to, but I sold it a long time ago, and so I'm thinking about getting another one just so it's easier for you to see these, I don't know, if they fit, I might try them on, but it's really rainy here, and I'd really like to get these listed, but um, I'm probably gonna have to just go hang them up uh, on a hanger with some clothespins so you can see them but they won't be on a, on a mannequin, which is really too bad because these are really cute and it would look a lot better if they were. But yeah, I think, I think I'm think i done. Um, I mean, what more is there to do, right? I mean, like I did go ahead and do the bleach before I came to you with the video, but that I feel like that just sped things up for me. And then we just cut the bottoms off. We patchworked front and back got a fun flower up there on your butt and uh, yeah these are gonna look cute when they're washed you know it'll be um, there'll be a little bit of fraying but not not a lot so yeah that's it I love these little dots and I, I didn't I don't remember if I told you how I got those I had a, a rag that I was wiping the bleach on with and I it was wrung out and I just kind of laid it on the pant leg and I walked away for a while I come back and, and this is how it looks so I did it on this side so I, yeah that was kind of fun a fun accident so anyway um, these are extra long well they're not any I mean I'm trying to find the size they're stretch I mean these are size large probably extra large <coughs> excuse me so we're going to say 17 across, uh, maybe not, maybe not quite, 16 across. So what's that? 32 waist, but they stretch. So they stretch like that much. Anyways, just in case somebody's interested uh, when I put them on uh, Etsy. So anyways, that's our upcycling video for this week. And I'll be placing these in the Etsy shop shortly after this video comes out. I'm just trying to debate on whether I should throw them in one more time just to get these kind of fraying a little bit more before I do list them. I don't know yet. I'll see. But anyways, thanks for watching you guys. I hope you enjoyed the patchwork pants. I guess we're going to call them uh, bloomers. So it'd be cute for the rest of your summer. All right, you guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next video. Bye.